Well, I'll call the meeting to order. I uh, do not believe anyone needs to be excused. Uh, since we do have uh, a guest, um, I think maybe we'll just go quickly around the ta oh. table. Around, We'll start at Div 1 and go around that way. Uh, so my name is Clarence Samuelon. I have the privilege of chairing MPC. And up to you, Hubie. Good morning, Dale. It's Hubie Kellen, Vision 2 and Tilly area. Good morning, Anne-Marie Phillipson, Patricia area. Good morning, Dale. It's Wayne Hamgren for Division 4, which is Scandia, Rainier, Bow City. Good morning, Dale. I'm Tracy Fife for Division 5. Good morning, Dale. I'm Kelly Chrisman from the west side of the county around Bazano. Good morning, Dale. Um, I'm Ellen Unra, and I represent the countryside around the village of Rosemary. Good morning, Brian is on Div 8, and I represent the area around Duchess. Hi, Dale. I'm Molly Douglas, and I am the councillor from the north area, Finnegan Jam Duck Lake area, and uh, thank you for attending, especially in this sort of crazy uh, time. It's it's nice to have someone join us. Good morning, Dale. Lionel Juss. I'm from Division 10, which is north and east of Brooks. Staff. Good morning, Dale. I'm Kevin Stevenson, County Administrator, and welcome. Marie. Good Good morning. I am Maria Jackson, and I am the Supervisor of Planning and Development. And we have uh, Ariana taking notes today, or, or is it Pam? It's Ariana. Ariana Nielsen, Executive Assistant. Thanks, Ariana. And Dale, um, you can try out your... Uh, mechanism there if you want to just introduce yourself again well my name is dale rempel i am uh located on the duchess highway almost halfway uh towards brooks and i thank you very much for your uh allowing me to come and uh take part in this meeting today i am i'm honored to uh be in your presence and and uh thankful that you are welcoming of someone like myself to uh present my Petition personally. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dale. Is there anyone else? Okay, we will move on with, to the minutes of December 10th. They were circulated. How do you wish to handle them? Yubi? Move as circulated. I'll ask the question, all in favor? Anyone opposed? Those are passed. Are there any post agenda items? Seeing none, I'll call for an adoption of the agenda. Molly moves the adoption of the agenda. All in favor? See that all hands up, there's no one opposed. We will then move on to the development report where there are two items. Are there any questions on those? Seeing no hands, we will accept that as information. And I think if, if if it's okay with staff, rather than going through the three subdivisions, I'll go to Dale's development permit right away, if that works for our staff. Is that okay, Maria? Okay. We will go to number eight, the development permit. So go ahead, Maria. Clarence, I'm going to, I'm going to do the report. Hey, sorry. Channely. Yeah. Channely, thank you. Um, Okay, so development permit 2020078 is an application to establish a vehicle sales business. 
Um, the applicant obtained a home occupation one in December 2018, which was a consulting business that was done solely online. He is now intensifying his existing business to having two to four vehicles on his parcel for viewing for the purpose of selling. His plans will be to have two vehicles maximum at the front of his parcel for show and possibly two vehicles behind the, the outbuildings um, to bring forward when the two in front sell. Um, he expects approximately five customers per week. There was no issues or concerns from staff. There was no response from adjacent landowners and I just heard back from Alberta Transportation yesterday and they have no issues. Um, we're recommending approval with conditions and Mr. Rempel is here to answer questions. Dale, would you have anything to add? No, the only thing that I can add, Council, is that uh, I want to break up Shanna Lee as she has been such a help. Uh, any question that I have, she answers immediately and without hesitation. Usually she gets back to me within two to three hours. Uh, at max and she has just been tremendous and, and just a wonderful help. So you guys have, have uh, a, an amazing uh, lady on hand there to, to do what needs to be done and I very much appreciate her. Well Dale, uh, on behalf of MPC and Council, uh, we want to thank you for those kind words. It's, um, we often hear people brag about our, our staff a little bit, but not so often in public. And so really appreciate those remarks as I am sure Shanna Lee and, and the rest of the development crew uh, also do. So thank you for those remarks. Are there any questions on this particular permit from MPC? Lionel? Uh, Dale, uh, is it sales only or are you going to have a repair and um, maintenance uh, shop there also? Just a question. The Lionel, thank you for the question. Uh, any uh, repair or maintenance will be done um, by myself and, and inspected independently uh, by a third party prior to being released to the roadway. Um, my intent is that uh, anything that I sell will be inspected and prepared for, for sale in such a manner that whoever purchases uh, is secure in what they buy, that it will pass the safety and insurance safety and will be safe on the road. Does that answer your question, sir? Sufficiently, I should yes, say. Yes, thanks, Dale. And uh, with that, if... Uh, if Clarence, I would uh, make a motion to approve this if, uh, if that works for, you, for everybody. Yeah, no, we'll accept that. We, we still leave it open for discussion if there are other questions, but we will accept your motion. Seeing no other questions, those in favor, please raise your hands. Anyone opposed? That then is passed. Dale, thank you for coming in. You're welcome to sit through the rest of our meeting as well as council, but I thought we'd put you first in case you had other more productive things to do. So thank you for coming in. Well, I have to say again, thank you, council. Uh, you guys, uh, uh, anything that I have to do with the county has just been so easy to work with and work through. You are uh, just a tremendous group of people, and I'm I'm happy to be part of this this uh, county. And uh, I look forward to working with you all in in the future on anything else that I go after. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll go on to subdivisions, and uh, the first one. Uh, 7-1, separating existing railway right away into separate parcels in order to consolidate with the adjacent lands. And these are lands owned by the EID. Okay. This thank time you very much. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I, I think that's really all that we need to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, is a, this is a subdivision of a rail line and the rail line 
Um, the single title goes through numerous parcels of land. So the intention of the EID is to subdivide um, in order to consolidate with the adjacent lands. So these lands are four kilometers southwest of the hamlet of Castles um, in Division 5. Um, the land is all zoned agriculture and is all vacant land. So there are no buildings or improvements on the lands. Um, there were no objections from any of the referral agencies or the adjacent landowners and staff is recommending approval um, for the subdivision um, and consolidation with conditions being that all outstanding property taxes are paid and the subdivided lands be consolidated with the adjacent parcel in such a manner that it cannot be subdivided without the approval of um, the subdivision authority. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions from MPC? Tracy? Uh, yes, I would just like to uh, make a motion that we go ahead and, and approve, this, approve the subdivision as recommended by staff. Okay, I'll accept that. Tracy has moved, but I'll ask one more time, is there any other questions or discussion necessary? Seeing none, all in favor. I see all hands raised. I don't think there's any, is there anyone against? No disapproval, so that is passed. Maria, we'll move on to the second one. Please. Thank you. Um, this is subdivision number 2020 0 060. Um, the subject lands are in the northwest of 32, 1914, which is in division 10, um, and it's approximately eight kilometers north of the city of Brooks. The applicant would like to subdivide a portion of the farmland. Um, to be consolidated into the country residential parcel. Um, this portion that he would like to subdivide contains a 500 square foot shop and a portable shed. Um, this subdivision and consolidation will make the shop um, compliant with the land use bylaw. The portable shed, however, would still require a variance or it is portable and it can be moved very easily. Um, according to the applicant. Um, there were um, no objections from any of the required referral agencies or the adjacent landowners. Um, Alberta Transportation is willing to waive um, the um, section of the subdivision and development regulations. Um, so staff is recommending approval um, with the condition that outstanding property taxes be paid and that um, it is consolidated in such a way that it can't be separated without your approval. Um, and sorry, there is municipal reserve also um, applicable in this case. So um, council, it, or pardon me, staff is recommending um, that municipal reserve be paid on the subdivision on the subdivided um, parcel. So that would be um, four thousand dollars per acre as the land value set out in um, the municipal reserve policy times the 0.21 acres that is being subdivided and ten percent of that. So that would be approximately eighty four dollars. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Questions? Lionel? No question, but I'll make the motion to approve this subdivision, please. I, I had trouble hearing you, Lionel. I'm not sure if I'm the only one or not. Could you please repeat? Uh, can you hear me now? You're good. Okay, um, I will make a motion to approve this subdivision. Thank you. Any further discussion necessary? 
So we're making a motion to approve the subdivision with the reserve. Uh, no mention of the of the shed at this point in time. It's a movable shed. It's a movable shed. That's correct. But there's no mention of it. Is all I'm pointing out. Okay. And the reserve also the eighty four dollars I think he can handle. All right. Uh, that 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 goes with the motion. Anything else? Yes, uh, Wayne? Should we put in the motion that he moved the shed just to become a compliant? I'll ask staff for their opinion. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I think that it could go either way. Um, it could it could be moved and the applicant has said that it is, it is something that can be moved. It can stay until such a time that there is um, a complaint about it, and then it could be moved at that time. I think it's really at MPC's discretion, and either way will be just fine. Yes, Brian. Well, the, the applicant owns the land that it's adjacent to. So is it really relevant? It's only relevant when there's a prop, when one of the properties is sold. And uh, I mean, this is a cleanup. The EID is uh, doing a project there right now where they're removing a canal and that's been done. They're burying a main line and uh, this cleans everything up and it's consolidating it. It just, this makes so much sense. I mean, you can put it in there, it's not wrong, but it really isn't relevant until there's a, there's a sale. Yeah, and that's why I'm saying it. I just wanted to point out that we're silent on that issue at this point in time. And that's the way the motion has been put forward by Lionel also. Okay, are we ready for the question? All in favor? That is passed. Going on to 7-3 and consolidating some land into a pivot circle. Maria? Oh, I just have to pull up that report, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, take your time. Okay, thank you. So this is um, subdivision application 2020-0-061. Um, the application is to subdivide a 9.3 acre portion from one parcel and a 10.4 acre portion from another parcel to be consolidated with the Northeast of 17, 21, 15. Um, to include in the full pivot circle within the same parcel of land. Right now, the pivot sprinkles on three different parcels. So the subject land is located in Division 7. It's four kilometers northeast of the village of Rosemary. Um, there were no objections heard from any referral agencies or adjacent landowners. Um, there will be no additional parcels created with this subdivision and consolidation. Um, and staff is recommending that the proposed subdivision be approved, um, subject to all outstanding property taxes being paid. And again, that the consolidation can't be separated without the approval of the subdivision authority. Okay, questions anyone? Comments? Alan? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve the file. Thank you, Alan. I see Nan Marie had her hand up. Did you have other comments? No, that, that's fine. Any further comments from anyone or questions? Seeing none, I will ask the question. All in favor? Seeing all hands up, that has passed. That brings us to the no, there, I don't think there are any post agenda items. Any items at all? 
Nothing in camera. Any questions during question period? Seeing none, I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you, everyone.